In mathematics, the uniform boundedness principle or Banach Steinhaus theorem is one of the fundamental results in functional analysis. Together with the Hahn Banach theorem and the open mapping theorem, it is considered one of the cornerstones of the field. In its basic form, it asserts that for a family of continuous linear operators and thus bounded operators whose domain is a Banach space, pointwise boundedness is equivalent to uniform boundedness in operator norm. The theorem was first published in 1927 by Stefan Banach and Hugo Steinhaus but it was also proven independently by Hans Hahn. Topic theorem Theorem uniform boundedness principle. Let X and Y be Banach spaces. Suppose that f is a collection of continuous linear operators from x to y if for all x in x1 has sub t element of f t x y infinity display style sub no limits underscore t in f t x underscore y then sub t element of f x equals one t x y equals sub t element of f t b x y infinity display style sub no limits underscore t in f x equals one t x underscore y equals sub no limits underscore t in f t B x y. Topic proof The completeness of X enables the following short proof, using the bare category theorem. Proof. Suppose that for every X in the Banach space X, one has, sub t element of F t x y infinity, display style sub no limits underscore t in F t x underscore y for every integer n element of n display style n in math bound n, let x n equals x element of x, sub t element of F t x y n, display style x underscore n equals left x in x sub no limits underscore t in F t x underscore y leq n right. The set x n display style x underscore n is a closed set, and by the assumption n element of n x n equals x does not equal display style big cup no limits underscore n in math bf n x underscore n equals x n eq varnothing by the bare category theorem for the non-empty complete metric space X, there exists M such that X M display style X underscore M has non-empty interior, i.e., there exist X zero element of X M display style X underscore zero in X underscore M and epsilon greater than zero such that B Epsilon x zero equals x element of x x minus x zero epsilon x m Display style overline b underscore var epsilon x underscore zero equals x in x x x underscore zero leq var epsilon subset x underscore m. Let u element of x with u one and t element of f one has that t u y equals epsilon minus one t x zero plus epsilon U minus T x zero Y by linearity of T epsilon minus one T x zero Plus epsilon u y plus t x zero y epsilon minus one m plus m since x zero plus epsilon u x zero element of x m display style begin aligned t u underscore y and equals var epsilon caret minus one left t left x underscore zero plus var epsilon u right t x underscore zero right underscore y and text by linearity of t and leq var epsilon caret minus one left left t x underscore zero plus var Epsilon u right underscore y plus left t x underscore zero right underscore y right and leq var epsilon caret minus one m plus m. 
and text since x underscore zero plus var epsilon u x underscore zero in x underscore m end aligned taking the supremum over u in the unit ball of x and over t element of f display style t in f it follows that sub t element of f t b x y two epsilon minus one meter infinity display style sub no limits underscore t in f t underscore b x y l e q two var epsilon caret minus one m there are also simple proofs not using the bare theorem so called 2011 topic corollaries corollary if a sequence of bounded operators tennessee converges pointwise that is the limit of tennessee x exists for all x in x then these pointwise limits define a bounded operator t Note it is not claimed above that Tennessee converges to T in operator norm, i.e. uniformly on bounded sets. However, since Tennessee is bounded in operator norm, and the limit operator T is continuous, a standard 3 epsilon estimate shows that Tennessee converges to T uniformly on compact sets. Corollary Any weakly bounded subset S in a norm space Y is bounded. Indeed, the elements of S define a pointwise bounded family of continuous linear forms on the Banach space X equals Y asterisk, continuous dual of Y by the uniform boundedness principle. The norms of elements of S, as functionals on X, that is, norms in the second dual Y asterisk asterisk, are bounded. But for every S in S, the norm in the second dual coincides with the norm in Y, by a consequence of the Hahn Banach theorem. Let L X, y denote the continuous operators from X to Y, with the operator norm. If the collection F is unbounded in L X, y, then by the uniform boundedness principle, we have R equals X element of X sub T element of F T X Y equals infinity does not equal Display style r equals left x in x sub no limits underscore t in f t x underscore y equals inf t right neq varnothing. In fact, r is dense in x. The complement of r in x is the countable union of closed sets x n. By the argument used in proving the theorem, each x n is nowhere dense, i.e., the subset x n is of first category. Therefore, r is the complement of a subset of first category in a bare space. By definition of a bare space, such sets called residual sets are dense. Such reasoning leads to the principle of condensation of singularities, which can be formulated as follows. Theorem. Let X be a Banach space, Y n a sequence of normed vector spaces, and F n a unbounded family in L X, y n. Then the set R equals X element of X n element of n sub t element of f n t x y n equals infinity Display style r equals left x in x for all n in math bf n sub no limits underscore t in f underscore n t x underscore y underscore n equals inf t right is of second category, and thus dense in X Proof. The complement of R is the countable union N M X element of X sub T element of F N T X Y N M Display style big cup no limits underscore n m left x in x sub no limits underscore t in f underscore n t x underscore y underscore n l e q m right of sets of first category. Therefore, its residual set R is dense. Topic example pointwise convergence of Fourier series. Let T display style math bound T be the circle and let C T display style C math bound T be the Banach space of continuous functions on T 
display style math bound t with the uniform norm using the uniform boundedness principle one can show that there exists an element in c t display style c math bound t for which the fourier series does not converge pointwise for f element of c t display style f in c math bound t its fourier series is defined by k element of z f caret k e i k x equals k element of z 1 2 pi 0 2 pi f t e minus i k t d t e i k x Display style sum underscore k in math bf z hat f k e carrot i k x equals sum underscore k in math bf z frac one two pi left int underscore zero carrot two pi f t e carrot i k t d t right e carrot i k x and the nth symmetric partial sum is s n f x equals k equals minus n n f carrot k e i k x equals one two pi zero two pi f t d n x Minus T D T Display style S underscore N F X equals sum underscore K equals N carrot N hat F K E carrot I K X equals frac one two pi int underscore zero carrot two pi F T D underscore N X T D T where D N is the N T H Dirichlet kernel. Fix X element of T Display style x in math bound t, and consider the convergence of S n f x. The functional phi n x c t c display style c math bound t right arrow math bound c defined by phi n x f equals S n f x f element of c t display style var phi underscore n x f equals s underscore n f x q quad f in c math bound t is bounded the norm of phi n x in the dual of c t display style c math bound t is the norm of the signed measure two pi minus one dn x minus t dt, namely phi n x equals one two pi zero two pi d n x minus t d t equals one two pi zero two pi D N S D S equals D N L one T Display style left, Vafi underscore N, x right, equals frac one, two pi in underscore zero, carrot two pi left D underscore N x T right, D T equals frac one, two pi in underscore zero, carrot two pi left D underscore N s right, D s equals left D underscore N right, underscore L carrot one, math bound T. 
one can verify that 1 2 pi 0 2 pi d n t d t 1 2 pi 0 2 pi sin n plus 1 2 t t 2 d t infinity Display style frac one two pi int underscore zero carrot two pi d underscore n t d t g e q frac one two pi int underscore zero carrot two pi frac left sin left n plus t f r a c one two t right right t two d t two inf t. So the collection phi n x is unbounded in c t. Display style c math bound t carrot ast the joule of c t display style c math bound t therefore by the uniform boundedness principle for any x element of t display style x in math bound t the set of continuous functions whose fourier series diverges at x is dense in c t display style c math bound t more can be concluded by applying the principle of condensation of singularities. Let XM be a dense sequence in T display style math bound T. Define phi n XM in the similar way as above. The principle of condensation of singularities then says that the set of continuous functions whose Fourier series diverges at each XM is dense in C T display style C math bound T. However, the Fourier series of a continuous function f converges to f x for almost every x element of t display style x in math bound t by Carlson's theorem. Topic generalizations the least restrictive setting for the uniform boundedness principle is a barreled space where the following generalized version of the theorem holds Bourbaki 1987 theorem 3.2.1 theorem Given a barreled space X and a locally convex space Y, then any family of pointwise bounded continuous linear mappings from X to Y is equicontinuous, even uniformly equicontinuous. Alternatively, the statement also holds whenever X is a bare space and Y is a locally convex space Stern 2001. Dudon 1970 proves a weaker form of this theorem with fresh A spaces rather than the usual Banach spaces. Specifically, theorem. Let X be a fresh A space, Y A norm space, and H A set of continuous linear mappings of X into Y if for every X in X sub U element of H U X infinity, display style sub no limits underscore U in H U X, then the family H is equicontinuous. Topic See also Barreled space, a topological vector space with minimum requirements for the Banach-Steinhaus theorem to hold. <laughs>